The Morning Mess. Okay, it's your Morning Mess. It's time for another staycation setup. So our guy Drew thinks that uh, his girl Bailey might be cheating after she lied about not having a close friend's story on IG. Huh. Yeah. Uh, all right. So if you don't know a, a close friend's story, it's a private group where you can select the people who can see it. So only those people can see the photos you post, you know? Right. right. And so uh, my girlfriend told me she didn't have one. I asked her before because I, I have one. She's on it. But she told me she'd never made one. All right. So the other day I'm hanging out with my friends and I'm sitting next to one of my friend's girls. And I saw that she clicked on a private story and it, it was my girls. I was like, is that Bailey's private story? And my friend girl was like, yeah, well, that's none of my business to me and wouldn't let me see it. Wait, so you're sitting next to some girl and she opens her phone and you see her seeing your girlfriend's private story. Yeah, after she told me she didn't have one. Dang, that is super suspicious because I've always felt like when you're on Instagram and you see that green circle around someone's story, you know it's going to be some juicy stuff. Mm-hmm. And you also feel good because... You've been specially selected to watch that story. So you didn't ask this girl at all what was going on on your girlfriend's private story? I tried to. I asked her to let me see it, and she just wouldn't show me it. She was like, that's none of your business. It's not for you. What? And there's no way to see who else is on it, right? Mm-mm. You just uh, you just know you're part of the close friends. Yes. Wow. Okay, so what? did you see what, what it was at all? No, uh, but I went and I asked my girl about it later, and she was like, oh, I just made one, but it only has like my girls on it. And she just like kept going on that like it was no big deal. Nobody can see it but them. And I was like, why wouldn't I be able to see? Like, what could she be hiding or posting that <gasps> well, isn't meant for me to see? Do you guys have some trust issues, though? Because in all honesty, just from what you've told me, it doesn't sound too crazy. Right. Like, has she cheated on you in the past or has there been any issues that maybe you don't trust her with? Uh, no, but this just feels like something like, why would you hide it? You know, what is there to hide? I didn't have trust issues, but I'm starting to feel like maybe I should because like, she's obviously blocking something out. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, whatever she's posting, like you're her boyfriend. You should be able to see. Right. That's what I'm saying. OK, well, we're going to do the staycation setup for you, Drew. We're going to call Bailey up, offer a free romantic hotel stay and see who she wants to put on her reservation. Hopefully it's you. All right. Yeah, better be. <laughs> OK, is it Dunzo if it, it's not? She's going to have some explaining to do. We'll just say that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. Staycation set up time. It's up next. Morning mess. Okay, it's your morning a mess inside the staycation setup. We spoke to Drew. He thinks his girl is cheating on him because she has a close friend's up on her IG. You confronted your girl about it. She says she didn't have one, and then you found out she did. But off top, we don't think that constitutes cheating just because maybe she does have close friends with her private girlfriends. Yeah, but why would, like, her friend wouldn't let me see it. She won't let me see it. It's one thing if you, like, if you think only your friends would care about it, but, like, when I'm asking to see it or when I'm sitting next to you and you're on your phone, why wouldn't you just, like, flash the phone? What is she hiding that I literally can't look at? I think the thing for me is that you had asked her before if she had one and she lied about it. Yeah, that's why I'm suspicious now. Like, you know what? Maybe she could have made one after the fact. Sure. But then she makes it and still doesn't let me see. Like, something is fishy here. All right. We'll do a staycase setup. Call her up. Offer a free romantic hotel stay. See who she wants to put on that reservation. Hopefully, she says your name, Drew, okay? Yeah, all right. Thanks, guys. All right, buddy. Let's get to it. Hello? Hello. Am I speaking with Bailey? Um, Yeah. Who's this? Bailey, good morning. My name is Jonathan calling from the Aurora Hotel with some great news. You've been selected as the grand prize winner of our free romantic weekend giveaway. So we'll be putting you up in our penthouse suite, adding in a honeymoon package. I was calling just to confirm some details with you, but I wanted to congratulate you on being our winner. I don't get, wait, say this again. Okay. Just to make it simple for you, it is free. We want to review in exchange for the weekend stay. It's a limited time offer and we don't have any deposits, fees or taxes for you. You would only have to pay for room service and that is optional. And all I have to do is just, like, write a Yelp review? That is correct. Yep. Okay. Okay, Bailey. Thank you so much. Now, to get started with this romantic weekend stay, we put a personalized note. It is addressed to your guest of honor from you. It's a great way to set the tone for the weekend, and I want to see if you have, like, a special message you'd like to leave for your guest. I can write that down whenever you're ready. Um, I guess put a weekend with my favorite person. Oh. I like that. I do have that down for you, Bailey. My next question for you is, who would you like to bring on this free romantic weekend stay? I need your guest of honor's full name for us to continue. Um, okay, his name is Julian. Are you kidding me? Excuse me? 
Hey, hey, Bailey, we got to let you know legally that you're live on the radio with a morning mess. Your man Drew's on the line. Wait, what is going on right now? I'll tell you what's going on. You're cheating and you've been lying this whole time. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm not cheating on you, Drew. and I. You just best- said his name. Julian and I have been best friends since we were kids. It's not like that, babe. You Did you say that. best friends oh, or yeah. best friends? No. Uh, Why wouldn't you take me? Who's your f-ing romantic partner? Because mm-hmm. I see you all the time. No. Oh. Oh. You can't trust me, so is that the reason why you're flipping out? Bailey. Um, I can't trust. What about that private friend story I'm not allowed to watch? Is that is that why? Is he on there? What's on there? You know it's on there. Oh, my God. Nothing. You are being so paranoid and honestly, oh like, don't f- insecure. Gaslight me it's here. very She's unattractive. flashing this dude. Areola 51. Stop. Honestly, stop with the bull****, Bailey. Just admit what you're doing. You're a cheater. Have you had sleepovers with Julian before? Oh, snap. <laughs> you heard me. I mean, yeah, like, but it's not like that. I promise it's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> sure. What? what the hell? Were there bunk beds Stop involved? I'm laughing. I'm serious. Uh, Bro, I'm laughing because you're a terrible liar. This is ridiculous. You're not apologizing about anything. He's like, seriously, like my brother. Stop. <laughs> this is stupid. Good There's man. no way this guy is like your brother and also a stranger to your boyfriend. You're a liar. Yeah, you're definitely a liar. What did that note say for the reservation? It said for my favorite person, which is like, honey, your favorite person I would think should be your man, Drew. I mean, regardless. This girl, I hope you know the hole that you're digging yourself right now because <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Joey, please. You're if you're really cheating on your man with this dude and you called him like a brother, that makes you a real weirdo. I just need to know have you guys been having sex? No, not while we've been together. No, <laughs> not <laughs> while we've been together. So, you mean you slept with this, with this best girl. friend Slash before? Brother, I'm trying slept to be with your honest. brother friend. I, I don't. I'm. I'm super confused here. Your lies really suck. Stop. I'm over it. it. Is not I'm over it. Got it. Suffer from it. Liabilities type two. All right. We hear you. Okay. We hear you loud and clear, Bailey. You slept with this guy. You guys didn't end up together. That you're was with... like a long time ago. You guys are twisting all of this. No, because at the beginning you said you would never, and you didn't, and now you're retracting you're your insecure. statement. You're insecure. Girl. And- okay. <laughs> okay. First, you didn't have a private story. Then you guys were just friends. Then you two brother. Your brother who you. F- <laughs> what the Kentucky is going on around here? I don't know. Oh, I just want the fried chicken. Oh, my but goodness. Is there anything else, Drew, that you want to say to Bailey? Anything else? Because we're here for you. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll get back with my ex. How about that? Fine. Maybe she can deal with how insecure and, like... Inse- Bailey, f*** you. What? Bye. Oh, he uh, hung up. Right. Okay. Well, Bailey, girl, now that Drew's not on the phone anymore, are you at least being honest with yourself? You've been cheating on your man. No, I haven't. What are you trying to be like a therapist to me? No, I haven't. I don't know what this is. Hey, Bailey, who was better? You got to you gotta just let us know that. Oh, my God. F*** you guys. Wait, I can't sleep at night until I know. Oh, my God. Who was better, Drew or the other dude? Did she hang up? Oh, snap, she did. <laughs> I'm never going to go to sleep. What? Oh, my God. Joey. Joey. Shut up. Good morning, mess. Weekdays, 5 to 10 a.m.